Hello everyone, welcome back to this. Okay, the next live reaction is going to be of the uh, five of five. Okay, so uh, context for this. It's actually a bit around, around two hours after the presentation ended. I was in the middle of doing something else, so here we go with this. Uh, luckily for me, I trust Andres to you know give me the link to this and not spoil anything, and good that he didn't. Thank you, Andres, for not spoiling me. He even told me to watch out for the title of this. So, yeah, I gotta make sure when trying to download this video to not even look at the title. So, thank you, Andres, for that. So, uh, Fire 5. Oh, boy. Yeah, Pal Tana, you're gonna get your, uh, Fire 5 in here. Let's see what happens. Anyway. So, uh, let's get this going. It's a 38-minute 30, long video, and... Yeah, who knows what kind of odds will happen in the background of my house during that time. So, let's get to it and go. All right. Here we go. Fire five. Who's it going to be? Not Please don't be Dante. I, just, I say it's please don't be Dante. So. Oh, it's anime. Oh, no, 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 no. Not Byleth. Not Byleth. Please not Byleth. Nintendo has specifically stated it won't be any characters already represented in Smash Brothers Super Fighters. They specifically said they're not gonna have any, you know, characters from, from already established series. They said they're not going to. Uh, they're doing, they're doing the Corrin again. They're doing a Corrin again, I can't believe it. I mean, technically, if you, if, if it bothered me to Smash, you technically have Koichi from JoJo into Smash Brothers, but that, that doesn't even count. No. No. No, you, you, you do what Corrin's doing. Celtis, where did you get this freaking letter from? Dang it. So joining Smash consumes even the darkness itself. Uh, it'll go another Sword Lord in this freaking Smash Brothers. And I thought they've already, I thought Nintendo has learned not to do that. Specifically, not to, not to add any more Sword Lords. We're basically doing corn again. I'm just, I'm just saying they're really just doing corn again. And this cloud just destroyed him. But, uh, well, that was disappointing. So you returned? I'm sooner than expected. I see. Too many swordsmen are there? And you, you wield the sword as well? What will you do? Huh. So that is how you plan to win the day? So be it. You know there are girls. You know, you know like girl Robin and girl Corn in this game, right? All right. Let's see here. What's going on here? Oh, I see. They're using the. I see. They're using the weapons from the main other three lords. That doesn't. This doesn't count. Rather than by that. That's stupid. Still doesn't count though. Still doesn't count though. Anyone, you should be able to handle the hero's relics. With Eric Still, I'm still, I, I, I still kind of same thing though. So I just, oh, just because he can use a land doesn't mean like. Mm. Can we just have Sothis in Smash instead? Like, just Sothis? Oh, that was 
disappointing. Oh, so, sorry, Jay Wits. You. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> he just said soccer. I just put it in there. To the excitement of absolutely no one. But we just had like. But we just had like corn in last game. Yeah, yeah. You, you assuming that nobody ha no one knows what Fire Emblem is. It would waste my for no fire emblem is. The producer said it's okay if I just say fire emblem. But when writing it, if you don't write fire emblem, the fire emblem please will come and get you, so please be careful. It's probably a pun I don't understand. Oh, it's just split. <laughs> Look, I can mess it up there for explaining fire emblem, but it's fire emblem. It's already an, it's it's already at least like six characters the fire emblem. That's worse. Why would well, why, why don't we have Vance Wars characters instead? That'd be cool. Seriously, don't do it again. Don't do it again. Promote the fight the new Fire Emblem with the with this with this main with this main sword lord into a Smash Brothers. You did it twice already. I mean, I don't know if you count, like, Ike for Brawl, since he was like, kind of the recent one at the time. But, uh, they weren't DLC, or, like, announced last. And I don't tell you they did for Melee with Roy. I should have did it with Melee with Mark, too, but... Actually, what was it, actually, like, there's... I don't think there's ever been a time in Smash Brothers, aside from the first one, which doesn't count... Where the um, where the where, where basically a Fire Emblem character gets him said Smash just to promote that Fire Emblem game. Six fighter can see a counter move. Well, well, tell me you don't count Fire Emblem Heroes either. Let's try saying them in the Fire Emblem Can You Say It Challenge. But the thing is, you know, thing is like, nobody in the Fire Emblem City count Fire Emblem Heroes. No, we don't count heroes. We this thing is like nobody plays the counts heroes as the main as the main series. Unless we count by the warriors. And the fun. I think counting binary is hilarious. The 16th game in the Fire Emblem series. Violet becomes a 
professor who ends up leading one of three academic houses. Why can't we have, why can't we have the Sky character? Alright, alright, I forgot that Smash spoils the game. I haven't played Fire Friend Three Houses. It's a very sad game in which your former allies become enemies, turn hostile, and try to kill you. To understand the concept of Fire Emblem Three Houses, I played an early version of the game before its release. I've done the same thing before with The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, for example. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, so 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 you use your Sakurai magic to get it to get a uh, so, so you can get the Sakurai magic to, to get a uh, like pre access. You can try. Come on, you're Sakurai. You can try. But yeah, Rip, I Rip, uh, Jay, which who Rhea does not want to buy other than Smash Brothers, but I think I needed to why, so. Honestly, I just prefer straight up, like, one or the other, like, if it was any of the other three, like, three houses lords, I'd be, I'd be all up for it, but, like, oh, because, like, this get this brother has, can use, like, their main weapons to war. But we'll, 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 we'll see, but we'll see when, uh, when Bada, like, can be playable. Oh dang. Therefore, some of what I'm about to show you might differ a bit from the finished version. As always, I'm using a special in-game camera and such for demonstration purposes. Hey, it gives, gives, gives the boundary break guy some, some, some leeway. Play from my playstyle of, of, of slow but range. Let me check something real quick. Just make sure that I'm uh, actually good. I'm actually good with the camera. Okay. Spikes? Okay. Probably like, 
Yeah, it looks like it, it looks like it, it has a pretty bad end lag. Okay, you can slightly aim that. Okay, sure. By the way, the tip of the lens is more powerful. Okay, the tipper. The shaft part is weaker. Okay, the tipper. Sure. So it's not suited to close combat. It won't deal much damage, and it won't launch opponents far. And that's why, as a rule, you want to hit with the blade part aimed upward. Or downward, in this case. Next, the side special blade. Violet will simply swing the lance like mm -hmm. this, but again, it is excellent reach. For example, even when your opponent is at this distance... Honestly, imagine like, I, I, I can imagine like, imagine if I'm stead, I'm just using all weapons like, and carry, I would just like, have them switch weapons and just have a, have it, uh, a completely different moveset depending on what weapon you, you, you use. And you could change that with your B, or down B. That's weird. I was like, this is part of it where I, where I actually like went to Twitter and actually saw like the little those little banners from when Sakura was talking. The, I, all I saw was like blue, so I thought it was like the Astral Chain characters. But no, it's my worst fear happened when I was in Reddit and I saw Bart and Smash. I was like, oh, please don't tell me it's like the real thing, because that don't tell me they actually lied, like for the fifth fighter. So it's more like a Mac attack that no no there's more no it's more like a Falcon Punch. So so yeah so yeah the Falcon, Falcon Punch does that too. Okay that's just funny. Okay that's just that's just cheating. So basically, has a bad match against, against their own series. Said, 
still cancel out of the stance using the shield button. You can also change direction while in the stance. It works up until this point, but if you keep holding the button, you'll unleash a powerful Dang. arrow that looks like a beam of light. You can perform this move by keeping the button held down. You charge up power like so, charge a bit more, and then fire. But again, you'll need to take care when using this move. For once, when you've powered up the move to its max, there's no way to cancel out of it. Not even with the shield button. In other words, you're committed to firing it. So you see, a situation like this is pretty terrible. Do a multi sign! Once you've entered the stand, you won't be able to do anything. Which means it's quite the risky attack to use against spiders who have a move with the reflector effect. But you could always just aim into the fray. As it is, after all, a long range move, letting you deal a sudden blow to opponents. So, you need to think carefully when using this projectile weapon. By this final smash is called Progenitor God Ruptured Heaven. In the original game, Damn, that's a name. Ruptured Heaven. This is an enhanced version of That's a name. <laughs> Oh, she just looks like PNG, though. Now, let's talk about the color variations. It's set up so that the default and odd-numbered color variations are male, while the even-numbered ones are female. However, the third... Ah, figures. Are, as you can see, reminiscent of the house leaders. Those of you who played the original game will, of course, understand what I'm referring to. The sixth color oh, so is Sophis, who you just saw earlier. And the seventh and eighth variations have a different hair color, which is based on based on something that occurs in the court. Wow, you're not spoiling it! Oh, wow, well, you're not spoiling That's surprising. But then again, I think, I think it's fine and three houses still new when he was recording this, so I don't know. So it's a scrolling stage. It's the type of stage that rotates through different areas such as these four. Let me introduce each of the guests that appear in these four areas. The first area is the marketplace. I think this is where a lot of people come to do their shopping. The guests that appear here are students of the Blue Lion's house. Dimitri, Dedu, and Ingrid. Not Dimitri, Dudu, or Ingrid. Their names are a bit difficult to say. They're largely from the Holy Kingdom of Vargas. Since it's a kingdom, that means they have a monarchy. For that reason, I guess you could say Demetrius the future king. He had quite a difficult life and may or may not end up with just one eye. And of course, they won that one. There are hey, that means that you're not going to spoil anything. Or do you know, just a just bite of hair color you're not spoiling. Still. I've already pretty fun. You often pass through this area in Fire Emblem Three Houses and you end up talking to him a lot. Moving through these areas is possible thanks to this mysterious platform. Just when it seems like you've come to a stop, you'll come crashing back down. You've broken through the ceiling and slammed into the building. So it's basically like, like the castle siege. And the guests in the reception hall are Edelgard, Dorothea, and Petra of the Black Eagles. Take note, it's not spelled Edelgard. They're from the Adresian Empire, and as such, they embrace their military might. Edelgard is one of the characters who is central to the conflict. Depending on the path you take, she'll go through some terrible ordeals. 
You'll notice there are prominent chandeliers above the stage. It's possible to knock them down. However, a fighter can't actually reach it, even though it's their stage. <laughs> you can reach it with other fighters, though. Okay, that's funny. So, it's nice if you can work your way up there by getting lucky and being launched up, or perhaps by using another fighter as a stepping stone. There we go. I made it. <coughs> and you can knock it down. Wow. Also, you can break this table. <laughs> the so. Just like the sign that reads Fooding Cousin in the Suzaku Castle stage, it can break if you launch the opponent into it at close range. Next up, the bridge. The camera rotates 90 degrees, creating this long area. It's very wide indeed. It's similar to the bridge of Elden stage. The guests are from the Golden Deer, Claude, Hilda, and Lawrence. They belong to the Leicester Alliance. Mm. Okay. Because it's an alliance of many noble families, you could say that they have a wide assortment of members. And Claude is the sharpest of the bunch. Incidentally, I mean, his Claude and Hilda are the names of characters that appear in Genealogy of the Holy War, the fourth title in the Fire Emblem series. Well, I actually know that. Well, wow, actually, why well, knows that? Hey, it looks like the Pegasus Knight is busy training. As for the bridge's design, it's just a long pathway, plain and simple. You can expect plenty of blows to be exchanged at the edges of the screen. You could also say it's a place where the fail knot really shines, and in this sense, I think it suits the Golden Deer perfectly. Or just completely not, you know, It'll depending on time, probably not when you make it there. Serious? Oh, I thought this was gonna go jump. We really made a lot, huh? Banjo! Dear <laughs> Rita, one in. Right now, I think you know what I'm doing. But basically, I'm trying to defeat all five opponents with just the professor here. But as expected, it's going to be a pretty tough battle, so I'm using anything I can get my hands on. It's not going to land that easily. Oh, I'd like to skip this, however, I can't, so. That Joker, like, his life is he just wants, he doesn't want any of this. Even Joker doesn't want Fire Emblem. Come on, I don't want 
Guard Con Guard is always always going to be there. So I feel like the enemy might get this smash ball. See, they got it. But I mustn't give up. I can't waste a chance. <laughs> First especially because of gun. Don't use immediately. Dang it, use immediately. Oh, There's still more. Whap. Whap. Use the hammer. You can take the hammer, but it's mine. Although I'm scared, I might get hit with a counter in this state. I hit him. I was trying to fight using violence and abilities alone. But what matters is that I won. Good game. Don't be surprised about this uh, classic mode just Fire Emblem, considering, you know, Fire Emblem. Try imposing different types of challenges on yourself. The end. Alright, music. Now, about the additional oh, of course the Apex of the Worlds isn't there. Since it's from the Fire Emblem series, we'll be adding each of the new tracks to all the Fire Emblem stages. There are already a lot of Fire Emblem tracks in the game. Our selection is taking those existing tracks into consideration. Eleven songs are being added. This includes an arrangement of the main theme in both Japanese and English. I hope you'll enjoy these as well. We're also adding in a new spirit board. House leaders among some of the other popular characters. Uh-huh. Oh, and of course, the, uh, the the house lords are, are in their respective main colors. That's all right. Is it just fire? The final battle is against Master Hand and Crazy Hand. But you'll find that something pretty amusing happens, so look forward to that. Oh, the twist, okay. So it's okay. So I was right on where it comes from. Okay, me fighters. All right, all right. Is it gonna be the three, the three lords, or is it something, something different? Let's see. Who knows? This might be more interesting than the actual character. <laughs> Doubt it, but let's see. Ezio? Oh no, uh, uh, no, it's not Ezio. Okay, I thought it was Ezio because because it, it looks just looks like an Ezio. I'll tell you here. I don't know the game's for it, so. Oh no. Oh, just a hat. It's still. Mega Man? Okay, who's it gonna be? Oh, just X. Wait, I thought X was uh, already a thing, huh? I didn't notice. Alright. Oh no, Battle Network! <laughs> really? Okay, maybe with EXE. Are we gonna have Star Force Mega Man there too? Cuphead? Really? Okay. Ooh, and the music track too. So remember what I just said? It might be more interesting than the card themselves? Yeah, here we go. Okay. And, oh, so, oh, just like being Sans also a me gunner, it seems. Alright. Alright. So, okay, so available Drake Lane for San Francisco. Each I'm only gonna get the cup pedal because they have the song. This time we're releasing a cup head costume. Neat. And for those of you who purchased the cup head costume, an additional song will be added. It's called Floral Fury, and it's the theme that plays when fighting Cagney Carnation. I hope you enjoy these as well. After purchasing a costume, I recommend using the sharing feature. If someone has created a meat fighter, you can play using the costume it's wearing immediately after you download it. And now, on to the amiibo. Ooh, Dark Sands is right there. The color palette for Dark 
Samus looks pretty good, doesn't it? Dark Samus and Richter are planned for release on Friday, January 17th. Yeet! Yeah, except by left is the exception. As I stated, we'll continue to release more DLC fighters down the line. I had thought that one or two might suffice, but well, let's have a look. Okay, okay. I'm gonna find it. Okay, I think it's show like like how many of them. Okay, five more. Me. Six more! Six! Ooh! Oh! Oh! Looks like there will be one more fighter than last time. <laughs> For this reason, we will be releasing the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Fighters Pass Volume 2. It will be available for pre-purchase on the date shown, so please keep an eye out. Neat. And now that it's official, we intend to move ahead with development. Of course, like last time, the contents will remain unknown for now. And I'm personally very sorry that we have to release Fighters Pass Volume 2 when the details have yet to be revealed. Oh well. Like last time, I'd be very grateful if, despite that, you would understand why. And Please understand. Furthermore, the new additions have already been decided. Even if I receive many requests regarding potential candidates on Twitter, I'm afraid it would be very hard to consider them. At least it's not Goku. But I still hope you'll look forward to it. We're also including a bonus with Fighters Pass Volume 2. Oh, okay. Last time, it was a Rex costume. But this time, here's what we have. Okay, what's the bonus? Oh. The Mii Fighter costume for Mii Sword Fighter. The ancient soldier gear from the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This will not be for sale individually, so it can only be acquired as part of Fighters Pass Volume 2. Okay. Last thing. It's been reported that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the highest selling fighting game in the world. Yep. Personally, I don't know if it counts as simply a fighting game, but I guess it's seen as a fighting game around the world. <laughs> is it a fighting game? It's like, it's like, is this a meme? <laughs> he, he's a but when it comes to a single piece of software, it seems like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is number one. Although, I still don't know if it can really be called just a fighting game. Dude, just... just dude, just like... I feel like it's become more than a fighting game. Some sort of celebration of gaming or something else entirely. Yeah, it best has its own genre, though. It's not... I feel a deep attachment to the five DLC fighters. Oh. Sure. Terry definitely, but now I don't know the rest. Well, then Joker, yeah. The first Fighters Pass just wrapped up. But it was decided that there would be more DLC. Which means, no breaks for me. <laughs> I plan to keep working hard, so I hope is, you can continue. Is this, is this a meme now? Is this a meme now? That Sakurai takes, take, needs to take a break? Is, like, a meme? Alright, that's it. Well, this is disappointing. <laughs> this is absolutely freaking disappointing. So I remember, like, when the DLC was, uh... The DLC was uh, being announced, like, Reggie would say, Nah, now, only characters who had never... 
like who never had any representation whatsoever into the Smash Bros. will get the DLC treatment. And since they all, and since they already knew beforehand, like what their what the choices will be, it's a total freaking lie. It's a total lie. So that means that like maybe the next six characters are all going to be from characters we've already known about. Like, oh yeah, it's just it's like really disappointing. It has to be Byleth of all characters because they did it again. Like they they've done it freaking again. For melee, it's Roy. For for bro, technically it's Ike, but Ike didn't, they didn't got released like during the time of Smash Brothers. For Smash Four, it's Corin. I mean, can't you count Robin in like in there too for like the the actual release because it was like about a year part, I think. And for this one, it's Byleth. At least the pronunciation is Byleth, and like Byleth. That's stupid, but. At least the pronunciation is Byleth. At least the pronunciation is like the one I was assuming. But. And like. The whole point of Byleth is that. There is no point. It's just. You just happen to have like. The other main lord's weapons. Like for. For something. For some moves. You know. It would have been a lot. It a lot better. As a gimmick. If. you Let's say for your. Let's say your down B or something. Or your B move. You can actually switch between the sword of the creator the, and the other like three la three uh, weapons, and then have completely different move sets based or how your move sets like differ in like how they work depending on what weapon you currently hold. Like for example, I don't know, maybe if, like for the neutral B right, and like the, the keep the, the cha weapon changes down B like in Pokemon Trainer for like the fail not charging bow can still be it. Uh, for the the, the lance it could just be like. A, Maybe I don't know, maybe a chart maybe like the, a charging move or something. I uh, they have all, all the moves be a sort of a weird charging move. And then up B, I don't know what they're gonna do for up B. I don't think they're gonna do like maybe for uh, the bow. Maybe have like a tether line, like you have a shooting like shoot an arrow, and then it has like a tether line so you can just ho hold on to. And then for like lands, I don't know, poke it maybe I don't know. Or, or maybe do like the waddle D like spin the spin the lands thing. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it would have been a much better character if it was, uh, if you could switch between weapons instead of just having using all of them as different every moves. So I'm gonna say that Bob has kind of no gimmick. He's just kind of a character that can have, that could, could have range. Uh, so am I excited for Bob? Heck nah. I think it's like the worst design of all of the, the, the worst actual design. I mean, granted, Hero, this down B is an absolute mess, but. At least it makes sense in the context if you know what the game's about. But for uh, Bioth, not so much. So, um, yeah, I am uh, not, not a big fan of uh, Bioth. doesn't help that I have not played Fire Emblem Three Houses, but I'm also not a fan of just ha having to uh, raise a character just for the sake of promoting a game. I don't know why. Just like, don't like the fact that you have to release a character to promote a game. Uh, it's kind of like with uh, Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, it count, counts like putting like Token Mirage Sessions characters to promote Token Mirage Sessions. Or, I don't know if that's me the other way around for Token Mirage Sessions to be going to bed, but it's just me. But I also don't like the fact that Sakurai thinks that Fire Emblem Heroes counts as a mainline title. It's not. It's it's really not. Fire Emblem Heroes is as much of a main title Fire Emblem Warriors is. So, uh, it, it's not. It's a 16th game this year, not 17. What the heck he's talking about? I know, I know Sakurai's a cool guy. You like, he makes some funny jokes and all. I get it. I respect the guy. But it ain't the 17th game in the series. Heck no. Nah, not, not by a long shot. So anyway, uh, that's it for me. So I'll see you guys later. Uh, maybe when uh, Violet comes out, uh, might do some Smash Online. We'll see. <laughs>